I know I sound out of it. I probably don't sound that much dumber than I usually do, but I just had surgery. Um, don't worry. It's not as bad as it looks. We'll have to edit this probably because I feel like I have to get up and throw up any second. I just feel like we've been really negative about a lot of things. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not intending to be negative, but this entire situation is pretty depressing. But there are some positive things. I just want to react to the raw footage. That's Ilya's back right there. Looking good, nice and tanned up. That's Joe Volpus out there with the, with the raft standing by. I didn't know what the point of this was. I thought it was just to go around slow, and we were just gonna get the nice shot with the mountains. So at this moment, I screamed for my life, and I can't see. Boom. <laughs> you guys can't hear this, but it's so, it's, I mean, if anybody can make a fucking joke out of it, I, I, I land here now. I was like KO'd, but I was awake, and I knew I fell into water. I knew, like, I remembered where I was at. Like, the, I got hit on top of a lake, so I knew I was in the water. But I wasn't able to comprehend that my leg was tied in because once we hit that top speed the thing tied the knot on my leg around my ankle even tighter so I didn't have an option to even release I had to just fucking take the impact there's nothing you could do there I was hung upside down and I'm like why the fuck am I drowning I thought this was only one foot or two feet of water now I'm fighting for my life as like my head's cracked open I didn't know if I had like a limp like I lost a limb or something at this point because I just couldn't get out of the water I, I didn't understand why I can't I couldn't swim up and just get my head up. My whole brain mechanism was off. I remember walking off the beach and I was like, damn, I got rocked. Just this moment here, it's like a dark moment that's hard to watch, but there's also a lot in it that does mean a lot to me. Like seeing these guys sprint out there and you know everybody run over to help me out. I get emotional watching it, but there is some good stuff you can take away from this. Look at Todd fucking sprinting out there, man. Holy shit. Look at Scott, too, from out of nowhere. And Ilya is right up there, too. But look, goddamn, man. Is that Devin? No, Devin's filming. Devin stayed filming. Well, thank you for the shot, Devin. At least, you know? Yeah, fuck, man. Look at how fucking Todd and Scott got out. Even Ilya. I mean, Todd's from fucking Huntington Beach. He grew up running through waves like that. But thank God, man. Oh, Zane hopped off and got to me first. Oh, shit. Look at Zane. Wow. And Joe Volpus came over with the wrath. And there's David. Fuck, man. They got there quick because I was fucking choking on water at that point. This one fucking gets me. Man, I hate to come on here. I feel like this has just been... It was supposed to be a podcast for us to fuck around and make stupid jokes. And just everything's so emotional. This is when I got to shore. This is really the only footage that we have of like me after the accident because it's weird you got all these vloggers on a beach and some i hear nerf barking is that nerf yeah. nerf please nerf. this is how we pay bills this is how we buy treats yeah what was i saying i think kyle made this instagram story right was this yeah not instagram story but like vertical video that's when kyle was still an employee of jonas so i guess he was just trying to document everything being a fucking 18 year old trailer park kid just kept rolling and I'm grateful for that he did that because I would have never known. I would have never had this moment. But this shit will get taken down from YouTube. So this is exclusively for the Patreons. God damn. I mean, that was after I already had the shower from that dirty, nasty lake. I mean, you could just see the look in Todd's face there. Todd fucking is a real one, man. And then Zane. Give me a shirt to stop the blood. We had no medic there, no nothing. Nobody was prepared for anything. It was fucking dumb. But this moment means a lot to me. These guys literally saved my life. And also, we had no time to wait for an ambulance. We had to rush straight to the hospital. And the family that did drive me to the hospital is the ones that later turned to blackmail me with the video. So it just goes to show you that, you know, you never know. But you could tell from the look in Todd's face how devastated he was. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget these moments right here. I just want to give a little context to those videos on for the Patreon, because that will immediately get my channel fucking deleted because of my own face. My own face is age-restrictable now. Just completely banned. So, yeah, I'm going to do a lot more for the Patreon. I'm going to figure out how to do these live streams and interact with you guys more. I haven't been really reading in too much of the comments and looking at what other people are saying on the videos. I really only care about the people that actually support me. Really, all I read is the Patreon messages and comments. So, thank you guys. I love you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for watching. And we'll be back with a better, real Jeff FM soon. Yeah.